Less than one mile from the Hudson lies a small Christian college where hundreds of students enroll every year. Here they can plan for their futures, study the scriptures, dine, and live the college experience. <laughs> but when there's good, there's evil. And the parking and roads on campus are beginning to cause a problem, and students are starting to complain. So what do you think of Nyack's parking? Oh, it's awful. You either can't find a place to park, or you find somewhere to park and you get a f***ing ticket. Who wants to walk around at 8 in the morning anyway? Max parking sucks so much dick that I just want to shoot up the school. Oh, why do you need new policy for the parking lot? Oh, I am sick and tired of the parking lot. I mean, I can't have my own cars. I want not even my buddies. Like, they even tell me that. Yo, James, you know, I cannot believe that we have to... While some students reside in fire lanes, Others park in handicapped spots. There's never any parking spots here in Nyack, so I always park in the handicapped spots. But it's not like there's any people in the damn wheelchair. Jay Go, a student and resident of Jaffrey Hall, details his experience with the parking situation. Alright, so one day I was coming back to Jaffrey Hall, where I live, and it was a little bit late, and um, there was no parking on either side of the road, so I had to keep driving, and I parked down by the dumpster over there. And then uh, the next morning, I wake up, and I go to my car, and there's a gigantic gash slash dent in the side of it. So I think they should get their act together and uh, provide more parking spots. Every student is given a copy of Nike's parking policies and procedures to inform them of various rules and regulations. Not surprisingly, however, multiple tickets are given out on a daily yeah. basis. Security footage was obtained by permission of Dunbar Apartments recording actual incorrect parking procedures. Even Facebook has become an outlet for complaints. And it's no surprise that the speed bumps on campus are also in need of drastic attention. Well, yeah, one time I went over a speed bump and I hit my head on the roof of the car. I think I have a tumor. This is one student's account of the speed bumps on campus. And I quote, I would much rather travel through the nine circles of Dante's Inferno than have to bottom out every day in my sweet Honda Civic. Unquote. Despite the outcry by the students and faculty, no action has been taken. A call to Nyack's administration was not immediately returned. From Channel 6 News, this is Corey Hay.